what if you took, say, a cake or really whatever and you cut it in a half and one half in a half and so on until you get to an indivisible entity? I'm asking, what are the building blocks of our universe? At some point we'll get atoms. All of us know that atoms are made of protons, neutrons and electrons. But there's actually something more fundamental than protons and neutrons. These are made of quarks held together by gluons. To be more precise, three quarks each from the up and down type. But there are four other type of quarks. The strange charm top and bottom. And these are essential to explain many discoveries done in particle accelerators. But before getting to gluons, I'm going to talk about the electrons. And these are actually fundamental particles. They belong to a family of particles called leptons, three of which are charged. The electron, the muon, and the tau. And three other neutral ones. The electron neutrino, the muon neutrino, and the tau neutrino. Studying neutrinos can be very challenging due to the fact that they oscillate and that they hardly interact. A neutrino can go through a light year of lead like a ghost before interacting. Quarks and leptons belong to a greater family called fermions, and they're what makes up matter. Now for the laws that govern matter, let's go back to the gluons. These are one of four force carrier particles, and they're responsible for the strong nuclear force. And then there's photons for the electromagnetic force, and the Z and W bosons for the weak nuclear interactions. Though for the fourth fundamental force, gravity, we have need to observe it to graviton, the theoretical particles say to be responsible for it. And that's because of the difficulty of studying gravity that it's ridiculously weaker than other forces at a micro level. So there's only four gauge bosons, the force carrier particles. And last but not least, the Higgs boson, or also known as the God particle. You can think of it as the intermediary between Higgs field and other particles, the field in which the longer a particle interacts with, the more mass it gets. So basically the Higgs boson is what gives particles mass. This model of particles is called the standard model, and it's an incredible theory that emphasizes an important side of physics. But that's not all of it. We still have lots of discoveries yet to make. Matter is only what makes up 5% of our universe. 25% is dark matter and 70% is dark energy, which we don't have any evidence of their components. In addition to many more mysteries left to solve. And although it can be tremendously challenging, scientists are doing their best in their researches, driven by their curiosity, love and strength for knowledge.